All right, let's have a look at the Power Fest stats for today. We have a super duper high win rate Ezreal. And I'm doing a support. I only just like this is my first game in like three days. What is my what is going on? What, what is going on with League? Hello? Alright, we're good. First game of the day. First game in three days or four days per league. And we've got double heal bot lane. Very cool. Wait, it's Victor. As is AD carry, right? And hey dog, thank you for the twenty two months. Like much appreciated. Anyway. So as you may or may not know, I went to Disneyland Paris. Woo! It was quite good. Um, I would give it a solid, considering if people already know me already, I'm quite... <laughs> What's the best word for it? I'm quite, I don't know, is mellow the right word? I'm not even really sure. I'm like, I'm not excited by much. Okay. I gave it a solid seven point five out of ten, which, to be honest, in my stat, in my in my ranking stats, it's still pretty high. Um, it was pretty good, exhausting for sure. I will save my disappointments first because I like being negative. Um, there weren't that, that I was expecting more of the characters to be wandering around the park. Oh, why is there a little turret there? But yeah, there wasn't really like any characters walking around the park at all, which was a little bit disappointing. I want to put a ward in that brush, but at the same time I don't. Man, I'm playing Rusty. We should have a level 2 prior. That's a nice cue. What's going on here? Uh, well, I die. What was the point in that, lads? I don't know why they both suddenly switched super hard to me. Are they duo? Because that was really weird. Oh no. Wave's really bad as well. Should have a good duke, but no HP. Wave's in a bad state now. Anyway, what yellow is this? Diamond 2. Or actually higher than that because this did get yellow decayed. Well, they have one in this game. Is a Diamond 1 game, basically. They have one in this game is Diamond 1. Apart from me. Um, what was I even saying? Yeah, no Disney characters walking around the park, which was kind of sad. Sedge Flash. He's caught off, off though. Why are they greeting so hard for me though? That's what I want to know. Like, what is the point in the over aggro ness towards me? Like, I feel like I'm on streamer mode right now because they just seem to be over, like, just hunting me down for my name rather than. I don't have heal yet. Rooted the Sejuani. I still don't have level 3. Kind of need level 3. Okay, there we go. Who are we going to be afraid of? Victor now. Map is not covered? Okay. Oh, we'll leave it off. It seems to be fine. Alright, guys. <laughs> so, yeah, no Disney characters. And I've probably said the same thing like three times. No, no Disney characters wandering around the park was pretty sad. Uh, they did have like meet and greet things happening. But like the queues for them were like way too long. I was just like, yeah. Can't be bothered. My son wasn't too interested in terms of meeting the characters anyway, so it wasn't really that big of a deal. 
like meeting the princesses or something in the princess pavilion, whatever it's called, um, was like an hour and a half, two hour wait. So I feel sorry for anyone waiting for that. <clears throat> um, we stayed in the Marvel Hotel, which was pretty cool. The The main Disney hotel uh, is closed. So actually it was like the best hotel to go to, I guess. The one nearest the park. Um, I think it just recently been refurbished as well. So it was quite nice. I'm going to max seal here because I'm not really getting any cues in. I max W, yeah. Um, so yeah, it was nice. We had a nice room. Um, nothing really else to say much about the hotel. They had a lot of Marvel themed stuff. Uh, we had dinner there for two of the nights. They had a really, really, really nice food actually in that hotel. I think it was called Downtown Restaurant. And they had, um, it was buffet, but they had like three different styles of buffet. They had American. Italian and Chinese and all of it was really nice I'm gonna just go back. I don't want to be here. Jinx has got no mana. Yeah, why are we doing this? Don't die! Woo! Oh yeah, it was a really good buffet. They had burgers, they had uh, pizza, they had um, and everything in around between. They had sushi. They have, did they have sushi? Am I lying? I don't think they actually had sushi. I'm lying, guys. I'm sorry. I lied. Uh, they had um, like duck and soy sauce. They had pork, um, spring rolls. They had um, they had nice sweet and sour pork s stuff. Um, dumplings and they just had crap tons of stuff right they had loads of stuff they had vegan burgers if you're a vegan they had um, meatballs uh, but the burgers were like the, probably the one of some of the best burgers I've ever had actually like these little mini like hamburgers with a cheese and burger sauce they were actually like possibly the best burgers I've ever had in my life and I think it, I didn't just realize they've got an Alistair top, by the way. <laughs> Wait, what? Anyway. I don't want to be here by myself. Yeah, it was really, really nice restaurant food. Because I was worried about the food going to be, was going to be pretty bad at the, uh, and it, the hotel, well, the restaurant food what was, was fine. We didn't actually eat in any other restaurant. The last day we went to basically like a fast food kind of Disney restaurant. Queue up for like 45 minutes to get food and the food was kind of, it was a bit meh, if I'm honest. Especially with how expensive everything is. I was not playing that well actually. I'm kind of like in autopilot mode right now. Victor's down here. I don't want to fight. I'm a bot anti heal. Okay, Victor's now back to mid. Oh, he walked so far for. He got rooted as well from my E. Behind my ding, I got so confused there with my silence. Huge. Yeah, I have a heal on the house. But yeah, the restaurant food was really, really nice. There was a posher, like, Manhattan restaurant. But because we liked the food and not the first one so much, we just went to the same one again the next night. So the food was alright. Saved. Like I'm not I don't feel like I'm playing lane that well in terms of positioning and getting my harassment in. I'm only on four hundred gold on my thoughts well thieves, which has been pretty bad, but we're getting stuff. Things are happening. So that's nice. Um, in terms of like the rides in the park, we went in both of the parks. Um, we pretty much went on at least once on everything that we wanted, and we pretty much used fast pass whenever we could. Because um, I ain't standing up for an hour. 
waiting to get on a ride. All right. So thanks to people that have taken coaching sessions. Your, the coaching sessions have paid for Fast Pass for Disneyland. Much appreciated, guys. Uh, how did we travel there? Uh, we traveled by Eurostar. Eurostar from UK to France was a pain in the ass. Thank you, Brexit, by the way. If you voted for Brexit, appreciate you. Um, yeah, it was a nightmare, honestly. The queue, we got there for like in the morning. At the Eurostar in the morning. Uh, queues were massive. There was passport control, like times two. Oh, no, no. Should get rid after that. I don't have my ult though. I can't get to you. I'm sorry. Try and get to the Kazakh so maybe. No. There wasn't anything else I could do there to help the Jinx without killing myself. Uh, but yeah, Eurostar on the way there wasn't great, and we had standard pleb pleb tickets. We had the had the you know the EasyJet equivalent of seats on the Eurostar. Um, so uh, seating wasn't great. Luckily, no one was sitting next to me, so it wasn't a problem. Um, but yeah, it felt kind of a bit like. Bit cattled in the entire time, right? On the way back, though, it was really good. Really, really good. Um, we did pay a little bit extra for Disney Express. So when we got into France, uh, they did take our luggage and sent it to the hotel so we could just walk into the park straight away after landing in France. And then on the way back, we got, I was able to get us a standard premiere, which is basically like, well, basically first class. They gave us a meal on, on the flight, on the flight, on the, on the train. Hope you had a good time with the family, Bizzle Heart. Yeah, thank you for the three months. Thank you, Tricia. Um, so our carriage is actually kind of empty. There are only a couple of other families in. So it's much quieter. She's stuck. I can't. Yeah. Um. So the carriage is quieter. Way more legroom. Holy crap! Like after all the walking we had done, done, and like the ho our hotel room was fine, but it didn't feel like it feels a little claustrophobic, and it didn't like have like that much comfiness to it really. Like the Eurostar on the way back and standard premier was actually pog. Highly recommend anyone tra wanting to travel in Eurostar to, to get to do that. The meal was quite nice. It was like a pesto pasta. Um, okay, but my complaint though is I specifically ordered like um, you can like you know have like dietary requirements and like um, ask if it's like a, for a kids meal or whatever. So I asked for one kid's meal, but they gave us another pasta one. They was like, oh, there's nothing else left. Uh, just trying to wait for this out a little bit. Jinx is already chunked. I want to wait until this debuff wears off. Okay. I mean, he's used his shift, right? I've got my ult. Oh my god. All right, I can't be here anymore. Can I throw out another heal before I have to recall? I've got to go. Alright, we'll take that. And I got an assist for top. How's Jinx doing? Okay, cool. We got another assist. So yeah, my main complaint is that they didn't actually have any kid meals. So my son didn't want to eat the pasta. Um, but luckily he wasn't too hungry anyway so we fed him after we got off but like we went they had they have um in the carriage like halfway in the train or whatever they have like a, a shop where you can buy food but the shop also ran out of food so yeah if my son was super hungry we wouldn't have been able to feed him for like two hours so yeah, it was pretty bad in that regard but for me and my wife it was fine Um, but yeah, apart from that, everything else was actually really, really good about 
the standard premiere on Eurostar. Hello, Bizzle. I've known you for 18 months now. That's like two babies. Give me back my babies. No. Babies. Thank you, John. Thank you for the support. Appreciate you. Um, how about does the food in Legoland, etc.? So, yeah, the food in the UK theme parks is really, 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 really bad. I hate this because I'm tanking these turrets, man. I don't want to tank these turrets. Okay, what I did, that was really stupid. I was trying to, like, wait, wait out for my ulti to come off cooldown now. To try and save him, but I realized this, as soon as I did that, I put myself in a really, really bad position. Anyway, Kazik's got out, right? He's got a bounty, I didn't. <coughs> nice Jinx traps, but yeah, she's... Oh, no! She actually could have got away if she didn't boss cone that way. Disaster. What the hell? Okay, team's kind of kind of going full in right now. Couldn't get the Heimer. I've got an assist though. What that for later? Can we get this as? It's gonna be rooted now. Okay, L. Heimerdinger has got a Rallos. But yeah, the theme park food in the UK is terrible. When I went to Legoland and Fort Park and stuff, it was just... It's like, honestly, like... It's super, super, super hot. Like, really crap. It's not as expensive as Disneyland, though. I will, I will say that. The Disneyland... What the hell? I can't tank this dragon. I have to go all the way around. Um, yeah, the Disneyland food's super expensive. Switch so running silenced. I'm gonna die here. This is gonna kill me. That's right. I really can't be around here. Alright, we got it. Like, I remember getting, like, a burger from on the last day with some fries and a drink. It was, like, 20 euros. And for, like, you know, generally, honestly, like, low quality stuff. Like the the upsell is huge, but whilst it, you haven't really got any other option, it's not like we can bring our own food. Day number three into into Disneyland, you're kind of s s stuck in that situation. But in terms of rides, the rides were good. Um, although my my we, we were reading the description of one of the rides for Tower of Doom. If anyone had. Um, has been on that. Uh, the description was that it basically was a thing that goes up slowly. It's like meant to be like a hotel themed uh, ride where it goes up and then it kind of plummets it plummets down. My son's been one of those kind of rides before and he kind of liked it uh, at, it might have been at Chessington. But man, this was like Even like, like you're not like harnessed in. Is you're just wearing a belt, like a seat belt across your lap, and you do actually kind of like almost stand up in sitting position, or like the G-force going down. So we thought like, okay, if it's a ride that he likes, it'll be a little a tiny bit scary or whatever, but like he'll like it. But Matt, nah, it was really scary, and he went absolutely mental. So we went, we didn't do any any more like roller coaster type stuff and after that he was like semi-traumatized after that 
Um, so yeah, like even when like we we specifically the thing. Okay, I'm kind of stuck. Okay, he thought he killed me. And he still got me. Oh. Okay, that was annoying. So he's seven. Because uh, there was a couple of other ones that we wanted to go on. Uh, well, the one other one in the Walt Disney Park we wanted to go on to was Crusher's roller coaster, the turtle ride or something. Uh, but we didn't go on that one in the end because he was too traumatized by Tower of Doom. But we did go on the Ratatouille ride before that, and that was quite good. Um, so after that, we only did like, you know, n almost no thrill kind of rides after that because I didn't want to like traumatize the boy anymore. So yeah. Bloody Rylos, man. Well, we can still play over Dragon Soul. We need one more. So he was kind of traumatized by that, by that, that ride. And that kind of... Well, it set the tone for the rest of our trip because it was like, okay, we, we can't, like, you know, do anything like that ever again. So we just took no risks. We went on, like, you know... We went on, there's the, like the Buzz Lightyear ride, we went on a couple of times, the one where you like have like a little laser gun and shoot at targets, you enjoyed that. Um, there's the one with the spinning around of rockets, I can't remember what that one was, was called, he got to drive a car a couple of times. Um, Oh, one funny story. The first night we stayed, my son found it really difficult to go to sleep. And it got so, so late, but I, th I was like, okay, fine. It's like really late anyway. Let's just get up and then let's go to the fireworks stuff. Because we went to bed at like half past eight. And by the time it was like half past ten, like he was still struggling to get to sleep. I was like, okay, fine. We are gonna go out as a family, and we are gonna go to the uh, to the Disneyland park in the middle of the night, eleven o'clock in the evening. And then, um, yeah, it was actually really good. Totally worth it. There was fireworks. There was um, they had like a drone show as well with it. It was really cool. Empty for the teenager. There were a lot of kids there, actually. I was surprised at how many kids st st uh, stayed up for it. Most, I would say, like, you know, 70% of it were, like, you know, teenagers to adults. But there are still a lot of, um, I want to say, like, 3 to 10-year-olds there. So seeing all the dis I got, like, a couple of videos I could probably upload on Twitter. But, yeah, it's really good. The drones were really cool, actually. They did it really nicely. Um, I think my favorite, I, uh, one thing I wish that they had was, was like more water rides. Like I like a good log flume ride. Or like, you know, those big rubber ring things that you get into. I like the water rides. But Disneyland didn't really have many. I did like the Pirates of the Caribbean one. But I want, want wanted one something like that, but maybe a tiny bit more thrilling. Oh god, I'm gonna get caught out here. Do you have anything here? What are you doing? I managed to silence the arm. It's a shame Jinx didn't heal sooner, then I would have been able to heal the other stuff.
Kiki. Good job, Jinx. Never mind. Just go Predator out. But yeah, the lack of water rides was kind of sad. Might try and sell a ward here to try to get this redemption in. Good. Yeah, I like log flames and stuff. I was just trying to think of other stuff we did. Um, but yeah, we used fast pass basically whenever we could. Fast pass has probably changed a bit since you maybe have gone last to Disneyland because of, you know, the virus. Okay, well, I think Andy got the blue buff. Jinx then got the blue buff. The fast pass you now have to specifically pay cash to get on. Whereas before, I think you used to be able to, like, you know, virtually queue for an hour or something. Like, you'd say you want to go on this roller coaster at this time and then, like, kind of, like, turn up to it and then queue for it. Like, but you could do other stuff in the park while you wait or something. But that's not a thing at the moment. <clears throat> so we had to pay, pay fast pass. But is fast pass worth it? Yeah, I'd say yeah. Well, it, it was like fast pass, like individual rides. I would say for us, it was worth it. Um, we got to skip the queues a lot of the on, on the rides that we want to go on to, though. I will say though, like if you are a roller coaster fanatic and wanting to constantly chug on fast passes, the price will add up considerably, like a lot over time. But we were using, like a couple of times we were using fast pass on like only two passengers, like my wife and my son would go on something. Then I would go on my, with, with my son on something else. And it, that, that, those prices of those ones were like much cheaper. Whereas if you wanted to do like hyperspace mountain, I think it would be like 18 pounds a head. What? I got hit by that? Oh no. Drink water. Where is Alistair during all of this, though? Such. Yeah, it's GG. I don't think I could defend this. I will try. Kazix is up now. Sort of climbing a turrets and stuff around. Like, what is he doing? Go fight. <laughs> Why is he on the outskirts not going in? Mmm, sad. Hey Red, thank you for the, the resub, much appreciated. Uh, is there anything about, else about Disneyland I want to talk about? Not really, like, overall it was good. Like, it was very, like... Like, if you've been to a lot of the UK theme parks, like Fort Park, Chessington and stuff, it's definitely, like, two or three, like, tiers of quality above that. Like, everything, thing, like, thematically done is really, really nice. Um... The Lion King show was really, really good. If you ever go, definitely recommend that. I did reserve seats for that. I didn't queue up for an hour for that, but we did queue up for an hour for the Frozen one. And the Frozen one is good. We queued up for an hour for the Frozen one. Uh, you have to get like an hour before the show starts to make sure you get a place. Um, but there's no seating inside the venue for the Frozen one. So you have to stand up um, or sit down on the floor for a lot of it. But that's like kind of RNG depending on if the people in front of you are going to be sitting down. So half the people were sitting down, half of them are standing up. Uh, and there wasn't really that much room. It was really weird how they had it set up. Bizzle heart much love, boss. Like there was a disabled section that had chairs, but I was just like, well, couldn't they just have like chairs for like all of the entire bit? Like it didn't really make any sense to me at all why they did it like that. So yeah. Hey Sage, thank you for the seven months. 
And how was the weather? Yeah, the weather was good the first two days. I actually got sunburnt a little bit on my forehead and the back of my neck. Um, even though it was only like 12 degrees Celsius-ish. Uh, the last day it was grey. It rained a little bit, but really it wasn't like that bad at all. So yeah, I was kind of lucky with the weather. But the, the, the last day that we were there, the, the Tuesday, it was so busy. So busy. I, I, we went Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. The Sunday and the Monday were actually like relatively quiet. It seemed felt like compared to the Tuesday. The Tuesday was just absolutely packed and rammed. I have not, we don't really know why that was the case. Don't know if like the French children like broke up on that Tuesday or something. But yeah, Sunday and Monday weren't weren't, weren't nowhere nowhere near as busy as, as the last day. So we seem to have booked up at the exact right time. And I can hear a doorbell. So B O B. Did I ratatouille right? Yeah, it was good. Really good.